Hello out there to my fellow gold diggers. This is your girl Rita, also known as The Gold Digger. If you are new to my channel, I am a wife, mom, entrepreneur, and business owner, and I come on and share with you about my goals, my struggles in business, um, all that kind of good stuff. And today, I know I'm a little bit late to the party because we are a few days into um, the month of February, but today I'm sharing with you my February 2021 goals, okay? Because I would not be the gold digger without having some goals. So let's go ahead and get started. So here are my goals for the month in no particular order. All right, goal number one is I want to save $6,000. Um, I am on a debt-free journey and part of this is helping me. Now you might be like, okay, if you're on a debt-free journey, why are you saving money? But with me being a business owner, I do need to make sure I have certain coins set aside um, just in case if something happens to the business. Um, we did have to close down for a few months when the pandemic first occurred. And I just want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row if for some reason we have to do something like that. Again, prayerfully not, but just in case I am beefing up my emergency fund and saving and putting some money set aside in case there is a volatile situation. So goal number one is to save $1,000 as part of my debt-free journey. Also check out my other video because I am trying to partner with different people where we are trying to save about um, $500 a month. It really doesn't have to be $500. Um, just trying to save on a consistent basis um, so that we can help build wealth. So check out that video if you're interested in getting more information about that um, in partnering and joining with me. All right. So goal number two is I want to complete my vision board. So yes, I know most people do a vision board at the beginning of the year. However, 2020, at the end of 2020, I had a lot going on, did not get to it, I do want to do it, and my birthday is at the end of this month, so I said it's a perfect time for me to do my vision board because it is going to be a new year for me once I celebrate my birthday, so um, I will be doing my vision board for my new year. Also, I will be sharing with you guys um, around that time too, my goals for 2021 or my goals for the actual year. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'm so excited about what this new year is bringing. 2021, my, my new birth year, all that kind of stuff. I'm so excited and looking forward to all of that. And so I have some big plans on the horizon um, in regards to this new year. All right. Next goal is, goal number three, is to pay off one of my student loans. So I know um, the student loans, any federal student loans, they are in forbearance, um, a government forbearance until October the 1st. I did do a video about that. I'm so excited that we have a little bit of time before we have to pay these things off. But your girl does have some um, private student loans that they don't really care about um about this pandemic they just want you to run them their money now i will say this they are in um they are in forbearance i was able to put those in forbearance but keep in mind too um the interest is still accruing because they are private so the ones that are federal they are in forbearance and the good thing about that government forbearance because um is not accruing any interest and typically if you had your um depending on the situation for the forbearance with federal loans, it is still going to accrue interest or whatever. But because of the pandemic, the federal ones are not accruing interest um, because of the um, from the forbearance. But these private loans, they are private student loans. They are in forbearance, but because they are private, they are still generating interest. And I'm not really cool with that. So I don't want to come out of even though they're in forbearance, I don't want to come out with twice or three times the amount that I went in with just because this interest is still accruing on those, okay? So keep that in mind. If you do have some private student loans, um, they might let you put them in forbearance, but see about your interest rates and see if um, the interest is still accumulating um, because I know with mine, the interest is still accumulating, which is one of the reasons why I want to try and at least get one of them paid off this month if possible. All right. 
Now, the next goal, number four, is I want to read or complete one book. All right, y'all. If y'all have seen some of my previous goals videos, y'all know I'm always trying to read a book. And your girl is usually always reading a book or I'm reading some kind of book or whatever. I just don't finish the book, okay? I get, I, I listen, I pretty much listen to Audible. And I end up falling asleep and then I have to go back and listen to it again. And then I'm like, listen to the same chapters. I want to say over and over because I keep falling asleep because I'm usually listening to it at the end of the day. I need to listen to it when I'm doing something or, or just to um, keep me up or whatever. But I want to complete at least one book. I have started like three books already this month. And yeah, I just want to get one completed or, or whatever. So that is my goal. The next goal... Goal number five is I want to stick to my budget, more specifically my grocery budget. Um, we recently got us a deep freezer and when I see sales now, I, since, since purchasing it, I have gotten some stuff that wasn't on my grocery list. It was not what I had kind of budgeted for, but it was at such a good price and I knew we had the deep freezer. I went ahead and got it. So I'm trying to stick to my budget. Um, for this month, the grocery budget, usually when it comes to food, that's the only kind of budget where I really have to be self-disciplined to make sure that I am not going over. So yes, so I want to be able to stick to my budget more specifically my grocery budget or the money I have allocated for food so that I don't go over this month if I see good deals. And what I might do going forward is I might see how much wiggle room I have in my budget and I might actually um allocate like a certain amount for if i do see a, a sale or something like that but i just have to i have to see how i'm gonna i'm gonna play that by ear for right now all right so my next goal and that is my last and my final goal is i want to exercise 21 days this month um so typically i tend to exercise on the weekends just because i have more free time during the weekends um I don't have to worry about getting to work or anything like that. Also, um, <coughs> excuse me, with the time change, um, it's, it was still dark. If I got up early in the morning, I couldn't walk like I wanted to because that's pretty much all I'm doing is walking. So I'm trying to do 21 days out of the month that I'm walking because I recently got a treadmill. So I'm excited about that. It's not been put together yet. So hopefully it'll be put together this week so I can start walking and getting my miles in because I want to walk at least. 80 miles this month which is roughly like four miles a day of you know actually dedicated walking not just walking around doing stuff so yes that is my goals for the month um let me know what you, what your goals are for the month of february i would be interested in hearing about the all right, so please share with me in the comment section what some of your goals are for February. Also, at the end of the month, I will be coming to you with an update on, so you can see how I'm doing. Um, did I do well with achieving my goals? That kind of thing. Um, now, keep in mind, these are my personal goals. I do have some business goals that I don't really share. I will probably share them um, when I do my annual or my um yearly goals once i get my vision board and all that kind of stuff completed but these are just my personal goals that i'm sharing i got a lot of big business um goals for my business as well but anyway that is all i have for now hope you've enjoyed this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share with a friend that you think might can benefit with it and help me hold me accountable for your goal for with for my goals and i'm interested in hearing yours so I can cheer you on and try and hold you accountable as well all right this is your girl Rita also known as the gold digger take care everyone